Hi guys, Bart from PA Brew News. Got an Alesmith beer here. This is an ESB, Anvil ESB. This was bottled October 30th, 2014. Got a couple months on it, I'm not worried about that. Uh, let's see, extra special bitter, 5.5 alcohol by volume. I think they're from San Diego, California. Ooh, boom. Get the fucking axe out. Crap. Axe works. Axe works. Ooh. There we go. A little bit of a caramel malt touch to this one. There you go. The more it gets in there, the darker it got. Okay, caramel, amber hues going through there. Just soft carbonation, right in the middle. Nice glass. I guess the glass is just accentuating that in the middle. Um, off, definitely off white head. A couple fingers of it. That was a little bit of an aggressive pour. All right, pretty nice. Listen to some uh, Joy Division. Just got it in today. Okay, really, really toasted, toast like brown bread toast, caramel. There's another, there's more, there's a, there's a sweetness in there that reminds me almost of um, some, it's kind of a caramel, brown sugar, toasted note in there, but, okay, okay, the, I was going to say something, now it's, now it's changing a little bit, I want to say there's a little bit of a dark fruit in there too. At first, the, the, the smell that I was getting was reminiscent of kind of a, a, a cola syrup, a concentrated cola syrup, stuff like that, but it's changing as I go on. Back to that again. It's weird. But yeah, really sweet. A lot of nice caramel, a lot of nice malts in there. Caramel sweetness, toffee, brown sugar, a little bit of toasted, uh, toasted grains, toasted bread rather. A little bit of a soft fruit and an earthy hop in there too, but I can't pull it out. It's 50 degrees down here. A little bit above 50 degrees, but it feels a little cold. Yeah, let's get it go. Cheers. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Big caramel toffee. Toasted brown bread, and that kind of stuff. Big. It's got this weird thing because, like, you're waiting for that to die down any moment now. Just the way the the body feels. The body's a little, like a medium, medium low body, soft carbonation, and you're just waiting for that big, nice flavor just to disappear all of a sudden. Just the way the body feels, but it kind of lingers and stays with it the whole time. There is a, there is a an edge to this that's kind of flat, uh, flat flavor-wise, but I don't know how to describe it. Like you're, you're, the sides of your mouth are tasting something completely different than the top roof from the back of your throat is. It's interesting. This is really weird for an ESB because it's reminding me of a, a different type of beer. It's almost reminding me of a double bock at times because of that big caramel, that big toffee. Um, some of the ESBs that I've had, uh, they're not as bold. They're a little bit more soft fruit, a little bit of breadiness, uh, a little, of course, toasted, a uh, little burnt sugar, a little bit of caramel, brown bread, but they're a little bit more subtle. This one's pretty dang bold. I think the age helps a little bit, so... The more I drink it, the more those flavors become a little bit less bold. I think I'm just getting acclimated to drinking it. But as an ESB, this one is damn fine. Really good. I just like it. There's a, there isn't that, the more the, the earthy bitterness on the end, a little bit of that copper coins coming through now. Let's see. British malts and a touch of caramel, uh, kettle caramelization blend seamlessly with a uh, mild English hop profile. This delicate balance of flavor will keep it the crumb of a blah blah blah. 
The new ones, yet bold flavor profile of Anvil ESB will complement the wide variety of foods. I don't know. From simple bar snacks to hot cuisine. Whatever. Bleh. Entrees. Hearty dishes like shepherd's pie pair particularly well. <laughs> As do English farmhouse and mild creamy cheeses. Uh, the serving side is actually above recommended. It's 45 to 50, and I'm looking at 52 on the thermometer. Alesmith.com. I was, I didn't, well, you know, because of the English mild English hot profile, I mean, you're getting that uh, slight copper coin, a little bit of that earthy bitterness, uh, a little bit of that almost dried leaf flavor, and I'm definitely getting that, absolutely. The caramel malts are bringing forth that kind of soft toasted grains, brown sugar. That toffee and caramel is really nice. Mm. And, uh, and I was talking too long and the thing stopped because I'm an idiot. And you just, you just throw it on. Screw it. We don't know these. Who cares? Just throw it on. Yeah. It's a, it's a medium body. But it's hovering between medium, medium, low body. So it's nothing too cloying as far as the mouthfeel goes. But what is for me? As far as the style goes, I think it's really good. Um, it's not an overwhelming beer. I don't think you're going to get blown away by it by any means to the imagination, but for the style, it's really, really good. I think it's super tasty, 5.5% alcohol by volume. It was $6.99 a bottle for a bomber. It's not really bad. Not really bad. Um, I don't go into too many rating scales or anything like that, but overall, I think I'm pretty much happy with this. Um, I'm gonna bounce before an eight, bounce between like an eight, eight point five and nine overall. Uh, I like it. I like it. The good beer. Dr. the road. Think that the good beer, baby. I was told you got more Dr. the road in your videos. The EFB, baby. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. The EFB. So, yeah, I'm probably gonna give this a solid. Let's try one more step. I think I'm gonna throw it down a little bit. And stay away from the nines and probably go for an 8.5. Super solid for the style. Really tasty overall. Good price. Availability, I've only seen it one place. I don't know if I'll ever see it again. Yeah, 8.5. I think you'll be really happy with this. Especially if you like, if you like the ESB style. It's good for favorite is. Cheers.